I'm Karen Calabrese and welcome to Karen's Kitchen. So today we're going back into the raw world and we're going to make bacon. Yes, bacon. People don't think of bacon and raw in the same sentence. I know it's kind of an oxymoron, but of course we're not going to use any baby pigs to do this. We are going to use big, beautiful eggplant, wonderful eggplant wonderful fiber, B6, magnesium. You're going to get wonderful, wonderful nutrients out of this bacon instead of getting sick from it, okay? So we're gonna use eggplant today. We will need a mandolin, and I have juiced beet juice, all right? And the beet juice, it's an antioxidant, it's iron, and it's very cleansing to our system. So we're going to use beet juice. This is so simple, you're gonna wonder, why you're not making bacon every day. And the beauty of it is, is once you make it, it's good for quite a while. It will last and last and last. Okay, so we're going to use olive oil and we'd like a good virgin olive oil, beet juice, and Himalayan pink salt. That's it, and you got bacon. All right, so um, with the mandolin, we wanna slice the eggplant nice and thin so it kind of resembles bacon and it's so simple to do but here's the deal if you don't have a mandolin you can actually there's some types of um, potato peelers you can use it won't be the nice big pieces that you're going to get with the mandolin but you see you can still slice it and get some bacon like pieces now the olive oil that we use is going to make it give it that kind of crispy fatty uh, ness that you need with it so I'm going to take these pieces of eggplant, soon to be called bacon, I'm going to put it in a bowl with my beet juice and my olive oil and my salt, and I'm going to let it marinate probably for about a half hour. You don't need it more than that. I mean, if you left it overnight, it wouldn't be a big deal, but a half an hour is enough if you're making it at the last minute at home. Okay, so I'm gonna take my eggplant. I'm going to use my dehydrator for this. Uh, we have the Excalibur we'll be using today. And we want to use the Teflon sheet uh, initially because it's going to have juice running through it. And we're going to just put the bacon on the sheet. You're just going to lie it out like that. And actually, you could just kind of munch on this as it is if you want it but let's stick to the script here and make bacon out of it. We won't eat it right now. So I'm just gonna lay these on here. Get quite a few, you don't wanna double them up. And you'll probably dehydrate it for about two hours and then to get most of the moisture out. And then I would take the Teflex sheet out and leave it on probably another hour just to let it get kind of crispy through and through. Okay, now we've got our bacon in the skillet, um, so to speak, All right? How does that look? And now we're going to stick it in the dehydrator at about 115 degrees. And we'll leave it in for the two hours. And let's make our second bacon now. What I do for this one is I call it Cajun bacon. And you could, you could, I mean, actually do this with anything. You could spice it up, but I like Cajun bacon. So I'm going to take, once again, my olive oil and probably use about, oh, two or three tablespoons. I'm going to add some paprika. Oops, that's a lot. I'm gonna add some chili powder and Cajun spices. You can get those at your local spice shop. And then spike, I love a little spike in everything. Add a little spike. And then of course my salt. Where's my little um, brush here? Oh, here it is. We'll mix this up. Well, it's a nice little paste there. It looks like I could probably use a little more olive oil in there. 
a lot more actually. I use quite a few spices. You could actually add some hot sauce to this too if you wanted to make it a, a hotter or some cayenne. Okay, and then let's get our tray ready again. This one isn't going to leak through so much and we'll do it one side at a time. That's, that's plain bacon. This is Cajun bacon. And we're just going to brush this on. Just going to cover it. I think I want more olive oil in there. There you go. And we'll do both sides of it. Like I said, this one you don't necessarily need the paper for. And we'll just do each one. Put that Cajun spice on there. This is my favorite, and it's a great snack to carry around in your purse or your car. We actually sell it pre-made here at Karen's. You can order it online from us, but it's so easy to make at home. You know, this is, it's great to travel with too. You know, like when you're looking for a snack to take with you on the plane, they're not gonna stop you with your bacon. All right, I'm only gonna do a couple of pieces of these, and then let's stick this in the dehydrator also. We'll turn it on to about 115, and then we'll see what we have when we come out. Okay, so through the magic of TV, you don't have to wait around for the two hours. Let's check and see how our bacon's doing, okay? And it kind of looks like bacon, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like, remind you of bacon a little bit? It does me. Absolutely beautiful. And this is the one that's so delicious just to snack on throughout the day. Mm. This is really my favorite. And the oil and the spices, it kind of melts in your mouth. So, um, and by the way, if you want to just get to this really quick, we also have this available on the e-commerce section of our website. You can get the Cajun bacon, you can get the uh, plain bacon, you can get all of our breads, and you can get a raw mayo too shipped to you. But I really want to see you try and do it in-house yourself. So this is a couple of slices of our white bread. And uh, I think we've done a video how to make this. So you can go through our YouTubes and figure out how to do the white bread. Uh, this is our raw mayo. That I know we've done for you, so you can go check it out. And uh, this is just alfalfa sprouts, and uh, I didn't make the tomato and lettuce. Uh-oh, no, just joking. So I'm gonna take some of our raw mayo and smush it on the bread. Honestly, by the time you put all the condiments in, you kinda, it, it's kinda like a BLT. You know, you don't miss the real animal product in there. And I love my raw mayo, so I like to put a lot on there on both sides. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some lettuce, some beautiful greens in there. And let's start putting our bacon on. Let me move this out of the way so you can see the bacon. I guess there's a commercial on TV where they go, bacon, that's why I keep doing that like that. All right, it's been so many years. And then I'm going to add some alfalfa sprouts just the, up the nutrient value even a little more, and then fresh, thinly sliced tomato. And I think two's enough. I just made a BLT, a raw BLT. So please give it a try. Send me the photos of your bacon and your sandwiches and you could even make a salad and add bacon bits to it. I'd like to see how it's working for you. And join me on social media. Uh, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel so you get notifications of when I'm doing 
new YouTubes for you. And I want you to stay connected. Join me on Instagram, Facebook, because I really want you in my life and I want to be a part of yours. And please remember that if you don't take care of this, your body, the most magnificent machine you'll ever be given, where are you going to live? Bye.